are open and whether we uh, have a customer in here or not, the bill still go on. Cheatham and Moore Barbershop reopened this month and the owner, Leotis Moore Sr. says it's been a rough time. Been closed with no, no income for the middle of March. A new grant will make running his shop a little easier. Indianapolis Local Initiative Support Corporation awarded 25 minority, immigrant and women owned businesses a $5,000 grant each. Something that is greatly needed. Uh, that could go in a a hole just swallowed right up because it's so needed. Uh, I, right now I could use a roof, I could use uh, several different things. Moore thinks any amount of money is going to help him survive. Prior to COVID, anyone could walk into Cheatham and Moore Barbershop and get a haircut just like me. Now to help with social distancing, they're only doing appointments only, which means they could lose about eight to nine customers a day. Because they'll walk through and they don't have an appointment. So then they'll say, well, okay, I'll go somewhere else. I don't have time here or something. The $5,000 grant money from this LISC is going to allow us to offset the cost of some training for the next couple of weeks for two new hires. And it will also allow us to buy some equipment to um, expand our trap butter production. Chef and owner of the trap, Oya Woodruff, was also one of the recipients of the grant money. The trap has always been a carryout only restaurant. We already knew the takeout game. We didn't have to learn anything new. Her concerns during this pandemic has been keeping everyone safe. A little bit of a burden to carry, um, but we're very well educated on everything, on social distancing measures, making sure that we stay masked up and gloved up. There are still a lot of unknowns ahead of 2020, but these owners are going to keep looking at the positive and be grateful for the blessings that came their way. I'm a God-fearing person, so I, I knew something would turn out. Reporting in Indianapolis, Aaron Cantrell, Fox 59.